can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's going on guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and today we're going to be showing you guys how to install Burger Tuning's cowl filters on your 135 or 335. So first thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove all the plastic parts, the cow filter itself, and then the whole plastic assembly. Uh, so to do all that, we do have to disconnect a few things. So the first thing we got to do is go ahead and just lift this up, then this guy, twist the sensor out, just up and over, pull it out. Just put that off to the side. Now we have to remove all the bolts holding this cowl on. So uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Pretty much once you remove all the screws, the thing should just come right on out. So easy peasy. Let's see if we actually have to replace this. This thing is filth. So now that we have that out, we can just go ahead and remove this guy. So um, this thing is normally held down by two screws, one right here and one over here. But since there's nothing there, but the last thing we're going to have to do is just go ahead and release these tabs. As for mine, mines are broken, but basically there's some tabs. This is hooked up to like this. As you guys can see, you just pretty much push down the clip, pull it out. And once it's completely out, you guys can pull up and out and this whole thing just comes out. You guys have to do this procedure every single time. You guys want to get to your sixth fuel injector, your sixth ignition coil, your sixth park plug, even your fifth. And just to remove the engine cover, get to the back of the intake or anything at all, you always have to do all of that. So the nice thing about the burger tuning cowls, it actually acts as a cowl and a filter, but at the same time, you don't have to put any of that stuff back. So you have access to your engine as quick as just opening up your hood. As soon as you open up your hood, this is what you see, which is super nice. So let's go ahead and just throw these on. And just like that guys, honestly when you put in the filters, you don't need to even put any screws in. It actually is already really on there. It's such good fitment. But I went ahead and just added two screws to both sides anyways, just to pretty much complete it. Uh, I just wanted to do that. You guys can just use the original two screws that were in there that was holding down the original cowl filter. Or any two screws will do if you want to put screws. This thing's honestly is really snug. You really don't even need to put screws. So just to name off a couple benefits, it saves you guys 10 pounds. So for those of you guys who are huge track nerds or dyno people or racing people, you guys though 10 pounds of savings is a big deal so it saves you around 10 pounds just actually insane also by removing all that stuff it helps a lot with engine cooling so that's a plus it also helps you hear the engine better and if you guys are wondering why would you want to hear the engine better for diagnostic purposes so if there's something wrong with your car you can pretty much pretty much find exactly where it is super quick if you're on the side of the road and something's wrong with your car you don't have to go pick up all those cowl stuff like I told you guys easy to access so there's a lot of perks for those cow filters Anywho, guys if you guys are trying to cop these filters the link is gonna be down below without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble see you guys in the next one peace out